Hi, Mike Sleegas from Kawaram Up Agencies. I'm here today with Patrick Johnson from Netafim. Welcome, Patrick. Thanks, Mike. Great to be here. Uh, we've got the Fertikit unit here, and this is what we're going to talk about today, the advantages of this unit. So, Patrick, take yeah, it away. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity. It's great to introduce some more products to the uh, to the to to your viewers and your, your growers out there in uh, Kawaram Up and the southwest of WA. What we've got is the Netafim are the leading supplier of drip irrigation, but we do have many ancillary products. Where we also focus is in the fertigation and the nutrigation side of things. The product I'm going to introduce you today is what we call the Ferti Kit. Okay, it's a fertilizer injection unit that injects soluble fertilizer slowly and proportionally, uniform and uniformly when used with drip irrigation. Okay, if I talk about the real benefit of this unit, it's that proportion, that ability to proportionally dose. Okay, so a lot of people still what we call slug dose or bulk dose. Okay, and what's that these doing? That's really just throwing a whole heap of fertiliser at the start of the shift, get it out there, get it out in the field. Okay, where proportional dosing is more of a slow injection rate over the whole shift to make sure that we're not leaching any fertilisers, we're not over applying any fertilisers. If I look at it, like I've said, if you look at it like a train carriage, mm -hmm. okay, a train carriage can be your main line. If people slug and bulk dose, you're putting all that fertiliser in the first carriage, sending it down the line, hits the ground, that's it. Okay. The good thing about proportional dosing is we're going to put the fertiliser in each carriage. So over that whole shift, every time it's getting water, it's getting a little bit of fertiliser. It says it's really trying to get that fertiliser to the crop right when it needs it to keep it you know, growing really happily and not, not giving it too much and not being inefficient with it. Okay, so, so good usage of your fertiliser. Yeah, trying to be really efficient with that fertiliser. Would you, um, traditionally with the slug dosing, you yep. would wet up for a bit? Put your dosing in and then yep. run it out with similar sort of... Yeah, similar. As yeah. Says, we have our controller that you can look at that it gives you the, the before and after time. Yeah, so okay. you may irrigate for 10 minutes, fertilise for 40 minutes and then flush at the end for a good 10 minutes, which is always good to do because it also just keeps that fertiliser going out the ground and keeps your drip line nice and clean and stops hopefully bacteria growing in it. Okay, so these proportional units, so I see you've got one here which is specifically for a cleaning agent? Yeah, so that one, as you can see, doesn't have the fertiliser meter, so I would suggest that's probably out there peroxide or the hydrogen peroxide uh, injection, where, yep. again, for cleaning. So it gives you the option to not only just inject fertiliser, but you can also use it for maintenance. So that, with the maintenance, would that be used weekly, or what would be the best use of that? If it's funny, so, so it's changed a lot. Yep. Um, these days it is something that we say, hey, you're better off doing more often, and in small amounts, so again, getting away from the slug, the big yep. clean, if you can do it weekly, just keep it, keep your drip lines nice and clean, it, it's better off, it's more efficient. So it'd be a good good addition to have, Yep. start with a modular system, yep. start with one and then build your way up. Yep, and, and that's yep. a good thing, it is a modular system, mm -hmm. so we can range from a, as single as one channel yep. up to the maximum of six channels. Uh, they also have, those channels can also be quite flexible, where you can do like a 50 litre an hour, which is good for your maintenance, mm -hmm. or it can go up to a maximum of a thousand litres an hour. A uh, thousand litres an hour is for something where you've got sort of, sort of heavy flows, like an avocado crop. Um, the vineyards you may be looking at, say, a, a 600 litre an hour or a 400 mm -hmm. litre an hour channel, but it is quite flexible and quite modular. Right, thank you. One of the other things that I really picked up, because it is in the background, is it gives you the opportunity, you can actually put an ECPH. Okay, so the ECPH has got the sensors on the Ferti kit. Okay, we, we inject and it continues to monitor that ECPH, logs it back at our controller. Uh, and so it gives you an idea of, okay, how your water's sitting, how much you're injecting, and just make sure that working with a local agronomist, that you're injecting the right amount. Okay. Installation of these units? Yeah. Installation, look, we've got the team down here, Brad Miller at Crown Up Agency installed this one three years ago. He's really well clued up on that. We're very fortunate. We've also got a tech uh, product manager named John Witherspoon. Uh, he's the product, actual product manager of these units based in Bunbury. So as I said, we're always here to sort of assist Brad and the team at Crown Up Agencies to really find a system that suits the grower, suits, their, yep. suits the client's needs. So yeah, at any stage at all, we're, we're here to help. Fantastic. Beauty. Thanks, no Patrick. Thanks, Mike. For your um, irrigation needs and to get the most out of your system, talk to us at Quorum Up Agencies.